Hello, and welcome to the fourth in the series of coronavirus podcasts brought to you by the Global Thinkers Forum. I'm Professor Andrew McLeod, and in this series, I've been talking about how we need to respond to the coronavirus, both professionally and personally. And in this fourth episode, I'm going to give you a framework to think about. There's an old expression that I like, which is, live like you're going to die tomorrow, but plan like you're going to live forever. It's a way of saying sometimes in life you need to split your mind into two clear events. You're not sure which one's going to happen, but you need to prepare for both. Because sometimes things are in our control and sometimes they're not. Back in episode one, I used the expression that I like, give me the strength to change the things I can, the serenity to leave the things I can't, and the wisdom to know the difference, as a framework to give you to say, you know, sometimes we just have to accept what we're faced with. We cannot change the fact that there is a virus now. What we can change is how we react to it. But the problem is, as of right now, we don't know if this is a long-term or a short-term problem. To use those well-worn expressions, we don't know if we're at the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning in our battle with the coronavirus. So we need to split our minds in two. We need to be able to prepare for and react to both the good news options and the bad news options. When you look at countries like Australia and New Zealand, they haven't just flattened the curve, they've, they've pummeled it and they've smashed it, but they've done so by completely locking off their borders, closing down their businesses, clamping down very strongly on the virus on the assumption that either immunity will be developed at one point or a vaccine will be developed at one point. And we look at countries like China and we think, well, maybe they do have the virus under control. But Singapore did at the beginning as well. But now Singapore is seeing a second wave of deaths. And South Korea is seeing about 160 people so far supposedly testing positive for the virus a second time, raising a question over the whole immunity strategy. And we've got to recognise that this COVID-19 is one of a number of corona-type viruses that have come into the world over the last decade or so, none of which we've developed the vaccine for. So it very well might be possible that neither the vaccine nor the immunity strategy works, which means we might be on again, off again, on again, off again, social distancing for who knows how long. That's going to be a challenge. But maybe, Australia and New Zealand have got it right. Maybe we can start to release the social pressures on us, the social restrictions on us, and maybe we do have the balance right now between the number of people getting ill and the capacity of our health systems to be able to deal with that. So which is the most likely? Which is actually going to happen? The good news story or the bad news story? The truth is we actually don't know. And that's why both in our private lives and our professional lives, we need to start adjusting our mind to think through both options as being heavily possible, good news and bad news. Plan like you're going to live forever, but live like you're going to die tomorrow. It's a hard mental gymnastics for us to get over, to be able to plan for two competing realities. But that's going to be the challenge for all leaders now. Those who are able to plan for both realities and respond to both realities with the nimbleness, the flexibility and empathy that's required are the leaders that will be the most successful both in professional and personal lives. It may be frustrating that we cannot control all of the circumstances around us. Like I said in episode one, give me the strength to change the things I can, the serenity to leave the things I can't and the wisdom to know the difference. And one of the things we can't change right now is whether we're at the end of the beginning or the beginning of the end, so we need to plan for both. So if you want to be a good leader, have part of your mind thinking, what is it going to be if we're really just beginning this whole process now? And if we're going to be on on again, off again, social distancing restrictions, or are the optimists right and we're nearly on our way out? Plan for both options. Give yourself that mental freedom to do so. I'm Andrew McLeod. Thank you for listening.